probably wondering, what is Raiders of the Lost Ark about? Naturally, that makes us think, who are you? <laughs> but even though it's one of the most popular movies ever made, we still want to recap it for our listeners and watchers uh, because we have... We have an extraordinary opportunity here. I mean, this is this is unprecedented. Uh, yeah, we have the most famous archaeologist himself, Indiana Jones, to recap it for you. Now, this is incredible because we tried to get someone from the Star Wars franchise back when we were doing Countdown to Nine, but they're all dead. I mean, it was a long time ago. The movie does lead with that. <laughs> anyway, we have exclusive footage of Indiana Jones <laughs> reading from his diary, recounting the events of the story of Raiders of the Lost Ark. So let's go to that now. I remember 1936. I mean, who doesn't remember the legendary Olympics with Jesse Owens? For the first time, Hoover Dam started generating hydroelectric power. Where was I? In South America, trying to recover a golden idol from a booby-trapped Peruvian temple. Trust me, this is not why I got an archaeology degree from the University of Chicago. So who's there waiting inside for me? Belloc. This guy was so jealous of me, it made his head explode. Well, spoiler alert, that's how it ended for him. Next thing I know, two army intelligence guys want me to fill them in on the Ark of the Covenant. They're about as cordial as a kick in the groin, and about as smart as... Well, let's just say they lived up to the oxymoron of their name. But most importantly, Marcus greased a few palms. And I got the nod to retrieve the Ark, before it fell into Hitler's hands. And he used it to create the most powerful army on Earth using lightning fire, power of God or something. Well, it wasn't long until I ended up in Nepal and I reunited with Marion Ravenwood. I hadn't seen her since she was, well, I'd find myself in a bar fight that would make Ernest Hemingway jealous, trying to get my hands on the headpiece of the staff of Ra. A Gestapo agent named Tote grabs the medallion and the image gets burned into his palm. Good thing the medallion didn't hit him in the jaw or his face may have melted. Well, spoiler alert, that's how things ended for him. After traveling a long red line across the map, we end up in Cairo and I get to reconnect with my old friend Sala, who tells me the Nazis, with Belloc's help, are digging in the desert trying to find the Well of Souls, where the Ark is kept. Sala and I find out that because the burns on Tote's hands don't reflect both sides of the medallion, they're digging in the wrong place. And oh yeah, Marion died. Eventually I share a moment with the best supporting actor in any story, John Williams' score, and find the location of the Ark using the correct size staff of Ra on the map room. But as soon as we retrieve it, Belloc locks me in the tomb with Marion. Oh yeah, she's still alive. We eventually smash through the wall, and in a moment depicted far too simply in certain historical texts, I quote-unquote capture the truck carrying the Ark. The real story? I threw seven Nazis out of a moving truck, knocked other vehicles and motorcycles out of the way, survived being thrown out of the window and dragged behind the truck, and even drove over one guy before stealing the truck entirely. Next, I end up on a U-boat with chocolate mousse from Top Secret and other sailors. Until, yep, the Nazis. Again. I have to ride their submarine to a Greek island to stay on their tail. And this isn't shown, but that involved holding my breath for 90 minutes. True story. Once there, I threatened to destroy the Ark with a rocket launcher, but I don't because the Nazis are my ride back to the mainland. And eventually, in a spiffy ritual, Belloc opens the Ark only to find inside it sand. Turns out, there is the lightning, fire, power of God or something I predicted, and it was enough to make Colonel Dietrich of the Nazi army jump out of his skin. Well, spoiler alert, that's how things ended for him. Eventually, the Ark is stored in a warehouse, where it will be examined by top men. You can hear more about their story in the sequel. Top men, Maverick. Well, there you go. I mean, that was incredible. We're all Holy cr I mean, like, he's right there. Yeah. And, and, I mean, this, like, intimate, like, home movies or so. I don't even know how... This is incredible. That was him. That was so cool. That was Indiana Jones. That was so as cool. As far as you know.